Growing up as Mwilam Sonda was very, very entertaining. It was a challenge. I had lots of growing pains. Um, but all in all, it was fantastic. It was fun. And I would live it again. My passion for music was inspired by or sparked by my older brother, who was very, very musical. And I mean from every genre to the other, from rap to R&B to, you know, reggae music. So all that combined really sparked an interest and it just helped uh, the passion for music grow inside me. Um, music has been evolving for a very long time. And if you notice the music that we used to play in the 90s, it's not the same music that we play now. You know, rap, hip hop, everything has changed. In terms of, and when I say that, I mean in terms of production, you know, synthesizers have changed every time music is evolving. Now for you as an artist, your job is to uh, adapt or fit in or chase up, you know what I mean? You know, fit in with the new, new kind of music that's coming. Hip hop will always be hip hop, but hip hop will have a different style of it. So if people were rapping in a ba ta 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 they'll go na 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 which is sort of what's happening right now. There's this mumble rap coming, there's this sing rap, and of course, if you want to stay up in the game, you really need to adapt, fit in. So I have changed. <laughs> You're really not scary, who work at it? Who you win on which is who maintain it? Care one for family in a job one poker. What will I want to introduce Kunsoka? I'm gonna think you can watch him with a Kunsoka. Little voice telling me. So, my music is meant for all types of people rich, poor, you know, black, white. I really don't like to classify it or label myself as a uh, or my audience for my music. So, it's for everyone. And also the message that I'm sending out in my music is usually based on motivation. I like to inspire or motivate somebody out there um, just by what I'm talking about. Now people are motivated in different ways by different things. Some people will see a nice car and say, I really need to work hard and get that car. Or see a nice house and say, I really need to buy my dream house. Some will just see a video with nice bling and nice things, fine things around you. And they're motivated, they want to work hard so they can, you know, um, get to that. So for me, my music, it doesn't matter how I put it out there. If I'm saying I want to buy a 25,000 bottle in the club, it doesn't matter because someone out there will be motivated to work hard and afford that. No wonder about Kai Mama Kufuna so Hello Siniba play my look at yourself the beauty for Pakis of it a floor Okay Mama Miba Kova na bala kuwama monga which it What motivates me to wake up and make more music would be the fans. I've got very, very loyal fans. Uh not just the Slap D but as XYZ. We've got the most loyal fans in the country. And I think their support is enough to wake you up and go make some good music. Um, we've got the fans that, you know, sit you down online, you know, in your inbox. They'll say, hey, bro, look, we need a new song and it has to have this one on it. Video must be shot by, like I say, I always laugh around and say, I've got a lot of managers. I've got managers in my fans. They, you know, sometimes they'll advocate for something and they push it so hard that you want to get it done. So what motivates me or what drives me is my fans and also my kids. I've got two beautiful children. I've got a daughter and a son. Um, lovely kids. I mean, they need to eat. <laughs> they need to eat, ma. So yeah, when I wake up every morning, I know I gotta make, make bread for my kids. <laughs> Switch, keep beating me records. Usain Bolting when I'm on records. Sacred bars is us the seconds. I'm finna blow up by C7. Studio is a, is a grand opportunity. You know, I say that it's a grand opportunity for any artist, American, 
you know, English, African, it doesn't matter. Why? Because it's a, they give you an opportunity to be creative with other creative minds in the studio. You know what I mean? So they bring they bring people that don't know each other, put them in a studio and say make music. And now regardless of who you are, what your egos are like, you end up, you know, making good music because it's new. It's different. Everything, the environment, the producers, everything's new and different and exciting. So Coke Studio for me was a, I call it a grand opportunity because, you know, I learned quite some things, you know, how, how other people make music. And um, basically what music is about in different areas of Africa. We hear, we listen to all this music and you know, oh, that's a weird song. Ah, that's nice. I like the drum part. I like, oh, no, that's what, but collaborating with somebody different and it being actual is a whole different uh, process. And I love it. When I first met Busiswa, I thought she was cocky, you know. Um, but that now I believe what they say looks can be deceiving because this show is one of the best, most humble, nicest people I've ever met. You know, she's very down to earth and she listens, she's willing to take advice, she shares. She's the most, you know, the, one of the nicest people I've, I've met as a person as well as an, as, as an artist. She's very talented and she's not selfish. I mean, that's what you're looking for if you're going to work with somebody or if there has to be chemistry in a studio. The first thing is you need to bond, you know, you need to click somewhere, somehow. You need to be able to communicate freely and get to know each other. And it just happened that she's that kind of person. She's down to earth. She's real. She's open. She, she wants to try out new things. And that's that for me was a big thing because we ended up making a very, very beautiful song. In fact, beautiful music. It doesn't matter who you are, how big you are, Cook Studio is still an opportunity for you. Um, and I, I, I'm very thankful for the opportunity and um, I'm glad I did it.